Hello everyone. Thank you for attending this presentation. I am Shinsuke Takeno of Nagaoka University of Technology. Today, I'd like to talk about the integrating empty category detection into pre-ordering pre machine translation. Let's start uh, uh, my talk. So firstly, I'd like to talk about the background and uh, the motivation. So in this presentation, I talk I talk about the work on the phrase-based machine trans statical machine translation, which doesn't include the uh, neural machine translation systems uh, recently proposed. So in the conventional uh, phrase-based machine translation system, so there are crucial pro uh, problem for realization. So drop the uh, drop the word is a one of the such problem. So taking an example, which is a uh, uh, Japanese sentence I show in slide. So isoide iru des means the speaker is in a hurry, but the sentence lacks the subject in in this sentence. So such sentences are very frequent in Japanese sentence, especially in a spoken language. And the language who drops some word uh, in sentence is so-called pro-dropped language. As a problem of the conventional machine translation, so they tend to incorrectly translate the, uh, these sentences, uh, which, also, which also lacks a uh, subject like this. The problem is caused in the machine translation from drop, uh, especially from the pro drop the languages to uh, uh, non pro drop the languages, such as uh, English, from English, uh, from Japanese to English. So it is difficult for PBSMT to produce uh, correct the pronouns on the target side. So as our motivation, so we try to solve the uh, problem by recovering the recovering the drop the words in the source sentences. So and it can improve the machine translation accuracies. So in now uh, in our work, we call we call such and uh, drop the pronouns uh, in source sentences empty categories, which is a uh, uh, proposed uh, linguistically based on the linguistically motivated motivation. Oh, sorry. So empty categories uh, uh, we explain uh, I explain that about the empty categories. So empty categories are phonetically neural elements but exist uh, syntactically. So uh, they include the uh, drop the pronoun, drop the pronoun and the traces of and the traces movement of uh, noun phrases. So which is uh, roughly equivalent to the uh, relative relative class in the English in English. So in previous works we have uh, built the their detection model and achieve the state of the art accuracy in at the time. So I briefly, uh, today I briefly explain about the method. So it models a problem as a class uh, classification uh, classification problem. So whether to have empty categories, whether to have empty categories to uh, each node like this. So they uh, they detect uh, they detect the uh, they classify the uh, node like um, uh, like this uh, recursively. So in this work, we adapt the, this method uh, into PBSMT system and the investigate the effect. So. Uh, to uh, adapt the uh, to adapt the detection method, so it is firstly occurred to me uh, that we empty that we empty empty categories we insert the empty categories as a word in Japanese Japanese sentences. To, so given a phrase, given and uh, given phrase structure in the source sentence. Uh, in this in this example. It, so sentence is a Japanese sentence. Uh, we detect the empty categories like this. After that, we lexicalize the uh, empty categories as a word, like this. But 
まあ、this is a very simplest way to detect the empty categories in source languages. But uh, uh, our, in our observation, so this is, uh, doesn't work well in the PBSMT system. PBSMT. So a uh, latter experiment shows that uh, this is uh, simply, well, simply insert, insert, insertion uh, improves the little Uh, little, little brings a little improvement on machine translation. Uh, why, why they doesn't work well? So, as our uh, investigation shows, this, uh, there are two problems uh, to integrate the empty category detection into the PBSMT systems. One is the word order problem. And the other is uh, about the uh, accuracy of the empty categories. So I'd like to explain the, these problems in more detail. Firstly, I'd like to explain the uh, word order problem uh, on PBSMT uh, with regard, including the empty categories. So uh, this problem is that word order in social sentence which has empty categories doesn't match doesn't match the word order in the target size. So it well, let us consider the word alignment of the this word uh, pair of the sentences, Japanese sentence and the English sentences. So in if we calculate the uh, word alignment between these these so Uh, after that, uh, empty categories detected, we detected the are uh, very distant, and its alignment make more complex in the example. As no, as you know, between Japanese and English translation suffer from the word of the problem. So recovering empty categories also uh, has a has a, also has a such problems. So to solve the this problem, we introduce the pre-ordering model to uh, arrive at the word order problem. We, uh, so we use the method, uh, propo uh, we, use the me we use the method proposed by the Hoshino in 2015. In, the method, in, in their method, they construct the uh, pre-ordering model This discri uh, discriminative pre-ordering model from word alignment, and it decide uh, and it decide whether to swap in the uh, source words in, in source sentences uh, following the uh, binary structure binary phrase structure like this. So after. Uh, After a uh, classification, after after decision, after decision, we can obtain like this, which is a uh, uh, alleviates the complex word order problem. So by using this, we alleviate the different order problem of empty categories like this. So Next, we uh, explain the second problem and uh, inaccurate the empty category detection on source language source sentences. So, second problem is uh, this. This is a practical and the frequent problem of pipeline system NLP. So, error of the uh, former process propagate to the latter uh, processes in the pipeline systems. So, uh, empty category detection also suffer from the insufficient precedent of the phrase, phrase structure passing. So our evaluation shows that the precision uh, drops dramatically uh, by more than about 20 points in on average by uh, on practical usage settings. The imprecise, detec uh, the imprecise detection brings a noisy insertion of empty categories and it makes word alignment words. 
To overcome the problem, we eliminate the unreliable, unreliable empty categories based on the probability of prediction. Uh, so it called, uh, this, is, this method make recall uh, more lower, but uh, precision higher. Uh, we, exp uh, we explain the, our experiment on setting and result. We use the uh, two data sets. One is the uh, iOS 20 2005 Japanese to uh, English translation task, so which is a very small corpus, but many, has uh, many empty categories. And other is uh, uh, the Kyoto free translation task uh, data set, so which is a uh, uh, which is a medium large but a uh, few empty categories because it is a written language corpus. So we experiment to add about these two these two corpus and we use uh, uh, this uh, conversion method. There is a uh, three method to compare the, our propo proposals. And one is the frame translation model, which is uh, we use the uh, MODIS. And the reorder, uh, second is the reordering uh, with human, uh, with a uh, manual uh, reordering. Reordering H means uh, we build a pre-ordering model from the manual word element. And third is a reordering corpus, which uh, which is build the uh, pre-ordering model from the uh, automatic word alignment such as uh, GIZA++. Plus plus. So the differences uh, between these reordering method is the whether to include the uh, alignment information about the empty categories. So humans doesn't include the such information. This is the result of our experiment. So in this experiment, uh, plain Sorry, uh, in the experiment, plain insertion, insertion uh, slightly improves the uh, uh, blue score like this, but um, reordering, reordering effect is also is so too. But combining the, these two uh, methods, reordering, both uh, reordering method and the empty category detection, uh, it uh, with much improves the uh, blue score it improves the 1.1 in 1.1 point in blue score. Live is also two. It improves the 2.2.5 in live score. In the KFTT, uh, in the KFTT, uh, KFTT score, uh, KFTT result like this. The tendency is uh, almost the same in the IWST, but it's a uh, Difference is uh, uh, less than IWC result, IWS, IWSLT result. It's just a uh, uh, 0.5, but combining uh, the reordering model with the empty category detection, it just improves uh, at 0.5 in blue score. So this is. But, this is because uh, difficulty of the uh, other observation and investigate. So it is uh, uh, because difficulty of the empty category detection in longer sentence. So empty category detection depends on the accuracy of the passing, but passing is not in, uh, inaccurate in the longer sentence. In the KFTT uh, corpus, the average sentence length is 24 words in the South Seas. And, uh, some, and, and the other problem is also observed. <coughs> Frequently, com so there is a uh, conf confusing the uh, person information of the empty categories is also frequent. frequent. So uh, dropped pronoun conf is confused uh, it or uh, he. Uh, finally, we conclude our presentation. In the presentation, we propose the integration of the empty category detection into phrase based on statical machine translation. So, pre ordering model with the empty category detection elevates the uh, word order problem 
word of the problem and improve the machine translation accuracy. As, uh, as the future works, we uh, will try to uh, solve the challenge of the recovering the more detailed linguistic information about the empty, category detection, empty categories, such as the uh, person information, uh, animacy, or gender. That's all our presentation. Thank you for listening.